Lock picks breaking and locks not opening. In the land of dying light, it's key to know how to be smart when lock picking. Drop this video a like by clicking the thumbs up below and subscribe to get notifications on all my dying light videos. Some folks call me a redneck. I smile and take it as a compliment. I live life the only way I know how. Walk with a swagger and rep the south. Hey, it's Redneck. And today I'm going to show you the best way to lock pick in Dying Light. Sometimes a lock is pretty easy to pick and you get right in. And other times it seems like you just keep breaking the lock pick and there's no way to get it to open. I've been there. You wonder if it will open and then you say, hey, if it's so hard, there has to be a gold weapon inside, right? Nope. Then you find out it's a bag of coffee. <laughs> Yeah, we've all been there. So without further ado, let's jump into my best methods for lock picking and getting those valuable items without going through so many lock picks. When you're lock picking, you want to break up the locks into sections. You have all the way left, all the way right, straight up, and in between. Typically, it's the in betweens that you'll find gets you in the lock. The first thing you want to do is find a spot, really anywhere to start. Go slow. The less tension on the lock pick, the more times you have to pick before it breaks. Go slow and wait for it to either open the lock or bounce the lock pick. If it bounces the lock pick, immediately let go of the tension. Now move a little farther and try again, remembering to go slow. By the third attempt, your lock pick is going to be fragile, so make sure to hold the joystick that controls where your lock pick position is in that position. So if you almost get it and the lock pick breaks, your lock pick will return to its position when it's broke. Now move a little more and voila! you've gotten into the lock. If you notice you've almost got the lock to move a little, move the lock pick up or down and see if the lock moves more. If it does, then you need to adjust your lock pick in that direction. But if when you move it, it moves the lock less or even snaps the lock pick, then you need to move in the opposite direction. So if you move down, and you break the lock pick or it just doesn't move as much as it originally did, then you need to go up. Once you get some practice, you're going to be able to go full speed with these methods like I do. Now go out there and get some locks open and drop this video a like to share it with someone else. Subscribe if you're new for my daily dying light videos and follow me on Twitter at Redneck Ordinary. Until next time, I'm Redneck. Go pick some locks. Peace.